Hello, welcome to this lesson of Mastering 5th Grade Math. Here we're going to work on the concept of rounding decimals, rounding decimal values. So rounding is something that actually comes into everyday life a lot whenever you get older and even, even right now at this age. So what we'll be doing is looking at the decimal values and, and learn how to adjust and kind of estimate and round up or round down those values depending on the digits. I know that doesn't really make a lot of sense at first, but here's a practical example when you might want to use rounding. Let's say I'm building a house and I'm going to, to tell somebody how long a board needs to be. Okay and uh, I tell him that that board needs to be 3.9 feet long, 3.9 feet long. All right, now 3.9 is the actual length of the board that I really need to have. But sometimes, if I'm, if I'm not really cutting the board today and I'm just trying to go to the hardware store and buy enough wood, I may not care about the exact values. I may want to round up or round down. 3.9 is an awful, close amount or an awful very very close to four. 3.9 is very close to four. So I might just go and tell my friend hey I need some four foot long boards in order to build this house. Or if maybe the the boards are you know 10.8 feet long that's still pretty close to 11. 10.8 is still pretty close to 11. So I might round up and say go get me a bunch of boards 11 feet long. Or if I'm doing something with money, I may round down. If I only need, you know, um, $5.1 and I'm just trying to estimate my cost here, I may round down if the, if the number is very close to the lower value. So basically what it is is looking at the digits and you're rounding up or you're rounding down and you're basically going to try to estimate what you need based on those digits. So let me give you a real example. We talked about boards and things like that. Um, but what if you had the number 3.8 and I asked you to round it up or round it down? So for the first problem here, I'm going to draw a number line. We're not going to do it for every problem, but I'm going to do it once because I think at least once it will help you visualize what's going on. So the number line, let's put the number 3.8 on this number line. Um, so let's go ahead and say this is the number 2, this is the number 3, this is a number four, and over here could be the number five. Now, of course, there's numbers that way, and there's numbers that way, even more numbers. But here we have the numbers two, three, four, five. We know that 3.8 is going to fall somewhere in here, because here's a number three, and here's a number four. All right, so if we, we know that 3.8 is going to be somewhere between three and four. We know that already. So here, right in the middle between three and four, right in the middle is what we call 3.4. Five, right because 3.5 is three and a half and that's right between three and four so what we have then is we have 3.1 3.2 3.3 3.4 and then we have our 3.5 and then we have 3.6 3.7 3.8 3.9 and then after 3.9 you roll over to 4.0 so basically what you have is when you're looking at the tenths place like that, is you can divide between any two numbers, three and four, we can divide it into 10 spots. This is 3.1, 3.2, 3.3, 3.4, 3.5, 3.6, 3.7, 3.8, 3.9, .3 and 4.0. So our number 3.8, we've already said it a few times. This is 3.5, 3.6, 3.7, 3.8. Our number is actually right here, 3.8. So let me ask you a question. If I were going to round 3.8 to the nearest whole number, to the nearest whole number, okay? In other words, I want to either choose 3 or 4 as being closer to 3.8. Which one's closer to 3.8, 3 or 4? Clearly, it's very close to 4. So if I were going to round this to 